striving for mediocrity in a world of excellence, this is The Chaser Report. Hello and welcome to The Chaser Report. It is Tuesday the 16th of August 2022. Charles Firth is here. Mm. I'm Dom Knight. And we've got Chaz Lichardello. I'm so, I'm yeah. so I glad, Charles. I thought you were going to interrupt to, to inform me that you'd sworn yourself in as host. Uh. At oh, the no, same that, time as I was introducing the podcast. That, there, was, that um, was literally going to be my next joke. Are, are, are there it, tensions between you two? No, well, no, no. It's just, it's completely ordinary. I don't know why everyone's all fussed about this. <laughs> I secretly swore myself in as host of the podcast a few months ago without telling anyone. There's a swearing in process to be host. Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah. Everyone <laughs> okay. swears and goes, oh, fuck, Charles is going to be host. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, Charles, I've got here mm. a signed legal instrument yes. um, that, that you've signed. Yes. So, hang on. How have you sworn yourself into a job? How does that well, work? Well, my old mate uh, from uni, uh, Christian Porter, actually. Christian Porter? <laughs> He told yes. me this trick, right, which yeah. is – and you don't even have to tell anyone. Like, you don't – like, I just signed this piece of paper, mm, my, yeah. made myself host of this podcast. Yeah. I didn't even have to – I didn't have to tell I, – I didn't tell anyone. I didn't tell no one at all. Well, I was in the dark about but it, it. But what it meant was that I had all the powers of the host. So anything that, that Dom – I could just overrule – at any point, As secretly. It, well, if Christian Poyser taught you this, how mm. come he hasn't sworn himself into another job? <laughs> because <laughs> he desperately needs one. <laughs> so I think we should explain, because as we know, Chaz doesn't follow Australian politics as closely. So, so this is quite a strange thing. I, imagine if you're Scott Morrison, and this Do is the, the, most baffling, <laughs> the most baffling part of this is he wanted more jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, he's Prime Minister, he's in charge of everything anyway. Mm. And secondly, it wasn't as though he was interested in doing that job. <laughs> But we now learn, Chaz, that he, job? he swore himself, himself into in. other yeah. ministries. So he, he he swore himself secretly. He swore himself into being the health minister mm. um, at the beginning of the pandemic. He then swore himself in as the finance minister yes. without telling the finance minister. Yeah, so Matthias, Matthias Corman, Corman didn't know. We'll get to why in a sec. Matthi- <laughs> Matthias Corman found out. This weekend. This weekend. That he, he was not the only finance minister in, <laughs> in Australia. Australia. But Scott Morrison was also. And, and, then, and then the resources minister, yes. Keith Pitt, who was a Nationals, got overridden by Scott Morrison, who was also somehow yeah. a resources minister, and overturned his approval of a mine. By the way, quite okay. a good thing. I, okay, okay. I have to jump in here because I, I hadn't heard this story before. Okay, yeah, This is the Chaz first time I'm is absolutely this, green. Right, and so I'm speaking for all the people at home who mm. are wondering what the hell is going on. So let me ask a few, <laughs> a, a few quick questions. Number one. What is the point of being a secret health minister? Okay, if no one this, knows your oh, health this has minister. An no, this, this, this actually is, does this have an sinister. answer. This <laughs> one's the <laughs> most sinister one, yeah. which is under the health orders during the pandemic. Yeah, the health minister had essentially absolute power, like power that is unimaginably massive. Right? Well, he had the it's power, a Marvel style, with, without yes. without recourse. <laughs> yes, without yeah. recourse to parliament. The health minister was allowed to direct anyone in Australia to do anything or to stop doing anything at all in the interests of, you know, um, public, public health. health. Yeah, right. so for instance, so, the, you know how we closed the borders and all this kind of stuff? Yeah. Okay. All, these, all those rules were simply signed off on by the health minister yeah. completely unilaterally. And oh. so what, what Scott Morrison went to Christian Porter is he went to Christian Porter and he said, mate, mate, mate. <laughs> Yeah. I trust Greg Hahn, but he's not in the same faction as me. Maybe, you know, I also need to have that power, right? Okay. So just, just in case, you know, Greg Hunt goes power mad. Or, uh, okay, okay. So that's the, yeah. so that's the advantage yeah. of being a secret health minister. What's yeah. the advantage of being a secret resources minister? So, so, hang on, so, so I can understand this on the basis that if Greg Hunt had come down with mm. COVID, it was new, uh, we didn't know. If it, if it had knocked Greg Hunt out for two weeks, he needed a health order. Uh, no one else could do it. Uh, yeah. So it's but a stupid law. So it actually makes a degree of sense. But then he didn't tell anyone. He didn't tell anyone, uh, including no. Greg Hunt. Or yeah. the Governor General, who is in charge of swearing in ministers, by yeah. the way. Mm. Okay. Right. <laughs> so he just uh, so he got legal advice. Advice. Uh, Actually, I think he did tell Greg Hunt. Yeah, and Greg he Hunt said, agreed. He said to Greg Hunt, I trust you, mate. But, but. I won't, I, but I'm going to do this anyway. But, but part of it was, but I'll just tell you the story, which is what Scott Morrison said is the solution should be that the pr- Prime Minister should be allowed to be able to direct the public, know, health, orders. The he- public health orders. Yeah. And under the law, that was not possible. It was only the Health Minister who had absolute power. So that's okay. why he went, oh, well, I want some of that power. So this, uh, to me, is the really dumb yeah. thing, is that Christian Porter, who is a politician who worked for Scott Morrison and who had the job... Apparently his legal advice is enough. You don't need to go 
to the Solicitor General or any of the public service lawyers. You don't have to go to the High Court. Yeah. You just go you to just your get, mate. You get your in mate your, in your cabinet who you're helping out with a bit of a tricky. He's got a little uh, bit of an tricky. issue of his own uh, to deal yeah. with. I, I guess Christian Paul swore himself in as the person to give advice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, the, so the, but then you ask, what's yeah. the point of being resources? Yeah, resources. Well, this is where all our left liberal instincts go haywire, right? Yeah. Which is we're going. This is outrageous that he would just become all these ministers. <laughs> But the reason why is because there was they wanted to do a gas exploration less than fifty kilometres off the coast of New South ah, Wales. Okay. But it was right is like in front of the northern beaches, right? Yeah. A lot of nice, well heeled blue ribbon seats for mm. the libs. And Morrison didn't want uh, you know you can explore gas, but give it to the fucking Queenslanders or something mm. like that. Um, he didn't want it. You he know, didn't want to lose seats. He'd lose those seats. Ah, okay. And he obviously. Probably also thought his view in Cronulla would end up being a bit gassy. <laughs> sure. And so he just, just swore himself in as resources minister, didn't tell anyone, and then just stopped the mic. So said, this is a year later. A year right. later. This is in 2021. He was like, oh, I'm going to swear myself into another ministry <laughs> yeah. and stop the resources minister. So while he swore himself in for every single cabinet position, how come he didn't swear himself in for education minister for the last six months when Alan Tudge was hiding in his home? <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> how, do, how do we know he didn't? <laughs> so how did this come out? How did we find out about this? Yeah, well, he must have just oh, told... There's, there's a new book. book. So there's a new... Simon Benson's called, got a new book. Called okay. Plagued. Yeah, called so, Plagued. So, so Benson knows somehow, even though the actual <laughs> health minister and resources minister and yeah. finance minister oh, no, didn't no, know. Simon Benson's the Minister for Communications. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's completely bizarre. And, I mean, Albanese's come out and absolutely slammed it and said, look, we were running the, the shadow ministries, but Sh- Scott Morrison was running a shadow government, mm. which is bizarre when you consider he didn't run the regular government <laughs> <laughs> during the pandemic. Yeah. To, to be going out with the job of running a whole, another whole s- secret but, but government I think it, bizarre. I think it makes sense when you look at all the photos of Scott Morrison. Right. Because oh. he liked... Cosplaying jobs he like did. that's he loved pl- pretending that he was a hairdresser. No, right? yeah. no, no. Can he, I? Can he's I'm always in mining you? gear. Yeah. He wasn't pretending. He was a licensed hairdresser. He swore himself in. That's right. That's right. He, he loved being a coal mine. He loved like he just sort of. Yeah. He was like a little child in a lolly factory, and then he suddenly found himself. He's allowed any lolly. He's allowed to play any character in this. Whole factory. Is it time then to reevaluate Scotty's holiday to Hawaii, given that he really needed the holiday? Yeah. <laughs> he had well, so he, many jobs. Apparently, he flew the plane over there. <laughs> he, he swore himself, himself in as a pilot. pilot. Yeah. <laughs> I, my he swore himself in the, uh, with the flight centre guy, the little flight centre <laughs> captain. <laughs> captain. <laughs> yeah. no, actually, if you got a flight centre now, that's Scott Morrison's behind him yeah. awkwardly. And, and he I, served himself drinks because he, he was the stewardess. <laughs> the Chaser Report. More news. Less often. It's not clear to me. I think someone needs to check, and I don't know who this person is. Maybe it's Christian Porter. Is Scott Morrison still a shadow <laughs> prime minister? <laughs> yeah, is right. he actually True. still in power in a way that we just somehow can't tell? We've been wondering what he's been doing, what his jobs are. He just went to Japan. Mm. Maybe he swapped sw- himself into the Japanese <laughs> government as well. <laughs> <laughs> Where does it end? Because you, you just don't know. It's ah. so bizarre. I mean, one Labor hack said, oh, it was Bill Shorten, mm. said... Does he have some sort of? Is it a messianic thing? Like, mm. did he think he was the Messiah? Like, <laughs> he's sort of going around, sort of touching portfolios and <laughs> and and making miracle work. He it doesn't on them. reflect very well on Jesus, does it? If, <laughs> if he if he was trying to be like Jesus <laughs> and turning sort of not doing a terrible job and taking other people's <laughs> work away, yeah. like he didn't. When Jesus was before Pontius Pilate, he didn't mm. say, I'm sorry, Pontius, I'm actually the governor <laughs> yeah, of the, the province of Judea. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the things to read here. Christian Porter told me it would be legal. Uh, so do you ever use any of these powers? Do you actually... No, I don't well, think he, he did as health he, minister, but he did the resources one he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the one that I don't understand, but the, finance, the finance yeah, one. Yeah, the finance one is very bizarre because it, it, his, it, or the explanation... I think in the book it, it actually said he'd said it, but I, did he talk to Simon Benson? I don't think. I'm not sure whether. But, but the whole idea was that it's very important to have two people's hands on the public purse at this point. 
That's a uh, strange dis- quote. Dispersal of all these. <laughs> because there was but, a whole lot of extra money sloshing through the thing. I mean, it sounds I, I know, a little bit corrupt, but also he was. Yeah, it does. <laughs> also, he, like, I know Scott sh- Morrison's a fan of people laying hands on each other <laughs> in oh, industries. Oh, sure, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but, but not in the finance world. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he did tell everyone about it at a cabinet meeting, but he was speaking in tongues, so they didn't understand. <laughs> um, no, but it's true, because he wasn't treasurer. So he didn't have the top economic portfolio. I mean, he was just a finance minister. Oh, that's completely bizarre. Yeah. And Matthias Cormann, the fact that Matthias Cormann didn't know about it is quite bizarre. Yeah. Yeah, although some people are saying, oh, yeah, come on, he must have known. But, uh, like, how, what, how, like, how would you know? Yeah. I, I, well, I mean, Dom, Dom didn't know that I was the host <laughs> of the <laughs> Chaser Report. But you told him. You, 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 you couldn't hold on to it for more than a day. Scott Morrison <laughs> held on to it for three years. <laughs> the really awkward thing is that I've been um, the co-host of Planet America since it started. I'm getting the paychecks. <laughs> that you, explains you, a lot. If you I, fall I, over. I think this is what we should do. We should go around and swear ourselves into the jobs that we've always coveted. Like yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run the ABC from now on. That's the job you've always covered. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. Don't Terrible aim problem. any higher than that. Just, just be David Anderson, a bureaucrat who uh, got promoted to the point. No, where no. I mean like ITA. Oh, you, you want to be know, ITA? I want to be ITA. Yeah. yeah I don't want to do the day to day running. No, no. I just want to set the general direction. Just want the Australian right editorials about you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were. I just did. want to cobble the flack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just want to go to estimates. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what would you swear yourself in as? Um, I think. I would swear myself in as the Channel Nine voiceover guy <laughs> who who talks about who talks about the sitcoms. Like, you know, however, there's a like a like a for the past like, thirty years now, yeah. Channel Nine has had these terrible rerun, like you know, mm. the, the, the kind of like Mum or you know, or Two and a Half Men two or and something. Men and the, and there's a voiceover guy who always goes a riotous new episode of yeah. two, that guy there. That guy has the easiest job in the world. Like literally all he does is say the word riotous once every six months and they just, and they just loop it over and over and over again for the last 30 years being the same guy. I want to be that guy. Can't do that? I, I think you could probably do that without swearing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think ask. <laughs> chosen a fairly low bar. Yeah, I, I would. I'd like to be a rock star. I think I'd. I'd what would be, who'd be the best? Oh, you're going to swear be? yourself in as Bono. <laughs> as Bono, <laughs> That's yeah. A great I've idea. certainly got the pomposity but down, you, Pat. You only know how to play the bass. Like, you'll have to oh. swear yourself in. I as might as swear myself in as Ed Sheeran. Oh yeah, because it's just him. Like he wouldn't know if someone else was buying him getting the paychecks. He just loops it all anyway. I just get all of his loops and play back to loops. I think I'm going to swear myself in as Thor. Like if we're allowed <laughs> oh, that's, that's to sort pretty of good. <laughs> I, I'm feeling pretty bad about that. Aiming as the Channel Nine voiceover guy. Yeah, <laughs> you've chosen Thor. <laughs> I mean, in which sense? Do you mean actually the the, the, the God of Thunder, or the do you act- mean Chris Hemsworth? Because they're both pretty good jobs. Yeah, oh yeah, why not both? Well, well, you, can. You, you can. Have, <laughs> you don't have to choose. That's right. <laughs> actually, swearing myself in as head of Marvel would be pretty fun. Just <laughs> yeah. proving all sorts of increasingly ridiculous superhero movies. No, well, except. And this is a total left turn, but I'm mm. just going to say it anyway. H- have you seen Everything, Everywhere, All at Once? No, what's this? What are we talking about? So Get to our three words. No, <laughs> this is this is a multiverse movie. Oh, and Michelle okay. Yeoh's in it. Okay. It is just, it destroys the entire Marvel canon. Like suddenly you go, oh, Marvel is now unwatchable. You see that movie yeah. and suddenly you go, oh, that's what... Uh, Multiverse movie is supposed to be. Yeah, oh, it's, that's it's why it's interesting. It's the same woman being in lots of different dimensions. Yeah. Oh, okay, but it's actually it's got things like emotional truth. Um, it's got like you know it's the become char- a movie review segment. All of the a characters have motivations. See, that's what I would swear myself in. Is I would swear myself in as the director of that movie, <laughs> which was a fucking amazing. It was like the best movie of the decade, and it makes it makes all Marvel movies unwatchable. I- Suddenly you go. Why would you do Wham Bam Thank You Man? I, I know you love this movie you just yeah. said, but can I just say that I am absolutely sick to death of my, Can Marvel just choose one area and stay in there? They're just taking over the entire cinema yeah. industry. Yeah. Every single genre is now it's Marvel. Marvel. That's, <laughs> That's right. right. Yeah, because the Love and Thunder was just basically a comedy. Yes. Yes. yes they're like just, they're, they're like, they're like 20, 20 different genres in the mm. Marvel universe now. You're saying and that they've got a multiverse of genres. They, they do. They yeah. do. Just stay in your bloody lane, Marvel, and let someone else make a movie yes just one other person please <laughs> so l- let me just see if i get the theory of the multiverse right like you can have you have the same person so they look the same mm. in different 
universes, different dimensions, mm. doing different jobs. Like in Michelle, oh, you guys want to different yeah. jobs. Is there a universe yes. in which Scott Morrison, Morrison is still Prime Minister? Yes. Well, according to this, absolutely. When yes. he won the last election, yes. how the fuck would he have done that? <laughs> I'd love well, to know. Well, the truth is that the, the universes get more and more unlikely. Like, oh, as okay. you go along. That, this so is what this I'm would wondering. be on the very, very outer extreme <laughs> no, but, of the universe. But hang on, let's push it even further. Like, yeah. how unlikely is too unlikely? Is there, a, like, is every theoretical possibility yes. a different universe? Because could there then be yes. a universe in which, in which Scott, Scott Morrison, Morrison was competent? competent. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pushing it even for Marvel, yeah. surely. <laughs> I actually nah. think when we say the same thing at the same time, <laughs> that creates a new, a new <laughs> Uh, well, uh, that's uh, that's it for today. Um, you know, as the host, I'd Go. just like to say uh, our gear is from Rode and we are part of the ACAST Creator Network. And my gear is from the guy in the corner down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you tomorrow.